Hello and welcome back to my channel and we are continuing the Far Cry Primal Adventures. Now I actually didn't uh, waste too much time on all this, I was exploring the map so as you can see there's uh, quite a few new things popping up here and there. Now my plan of attack for this one is basically build this guy's hat, well hat, hat, hut, you get the point, and we're gonna help to Take down the mighty mammoth. Then we actually gonna go for Urki the Thinker. And uh, I don't know, probably drive a mammoth as well, because I kinda have the skill. Uh, on the upper side, I actually acquired the sniper rifle of the ancient times called the longbow. Which is a. Uh, well, as, as the name suggests, it's a longbow. It's a very long distance sniping bow. Which means I'm gonna fail even more, but nevertheless, we're gonna go with that. So let's let me just demonstrate you how cool that is, which I cannot use here. Anyway, you, I'll, I'll show you that. You, you'll see what I mean. It, it's basically zoom on steroids, so it, it's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go and build this guy's hut because that is uh, apparently a thing to do for the story mission. Okay, this went from zero to <coughs> unacceptable in a one second. Okay. I'm not a doctor and I have no idea what he's referring to. Bone dust after I made a hole in your skull. Yeah, um, I I don't know what to I, I don't know what to say. Honestly, I'm I'm a little bit speechless right now. You know what? I think we might as well just uh, go and do that that sounds like a fun mission to do first off because uh, we have a couple hard ones like the zilla fort uh the mammoth uh, riding a mammoth and you know all things considered this this might be the chance for me to test out my longbow but uh yeah see this all this that you currently see it it kind of reminds me that ubisoft used to have People with vision that wanted to go the extra mile to provide you with this uncomfortable feeling. You see, today's world is more about, you know, comfort and, you know, it's nice and and people are signing petitions, make Sekiro more easy and stuff like this. But back in the day, it was like, there you go. You like it or you don't, you know. It's, it, it wasn't as much as about, you know... How, what, and why, but... God, I, I wouldn't say that this is... 
too comfortable, but uh, it, it does tickle your pickle a bit, you know, like just enough to to make you think like what these guys had to go through on a daily basis. Anyway, um, 200 tippy taps, and we shall start our mission here. So I will uh, swap over to my long range sniper, and we are gonna go tactical insertion first. See what we have, maybe we can literally just, you know, snipe out everyone and then go in. I mean, after all, this is Ubisoft and Far Cry, so I can see some nice points over up here. can probably take a ledge. It's a relatively small camp. So I think we just need to get move on. But yeah, I mean, I, I do cherish the moments when even I go with my dull senses, like, what the hell is going on? That is a very interesting feeling. And this, this game pulls no punches, like, it just goes for it. Okay. She is a healer. I cannot uh, shoot the healer then. I can use my drone for various reasons. Okay, first and foremost, let's see. It's like old school 50 cal. Uh, if they had like armor piecing arrow upgrade, I mean, that would be. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, find and take. Okay, so she's going over there. Fair enough. He's out of range. Yeah, what I could do. Wow, there are suddenly much more interested parties in here than I previously anticipated. Fine might be a pretty long stretch. Okay. We might not be fine. Come on, give me the bow. So there is someone who is actually calling reinforcements. Well, can't have that really. It's a good thing I actually managed to... Oh, come on. 
this is why I do not like clubs. Because they kind of stop you from doing actual things. Need to heal my little tiny kitten. Have fun, boys. Exhausted our supply of things. Shaskani. Of clay, escape the Udam camp. Escaping is always the easiest part. Because we're just gonna go back the same way we came in. Usually covered in blood and screaming, but hey, that's a different topic. Which we will not look in at this particular moment. But we should be good. Okay, I want to know if this will actually explode. No. Great. So that was a very quick mission before we start everything else. So I think this is kind of like a warm-up. Hey, you hurt. Come on, you little furball. Yeah, that's good furball. Right, I think we actually done a pretty well job. Let's just go back to the Udam camp, and then I'm gonna try to find how I can get back my wolf. Because end of the day, wolf is what I really like, and I want to have as a companion. Before that, let's just make sure we have everything else. So yeah, the sniping bow is a pretty good upgrade, give or take, but... Overall, again, I'm looking at this uh, in a bit, a bit different way. Okay, so... Something else is going on here. The shaman wants us. Oh, I hope it's not going to be one of those trippy... Trippy trips again. But we'll see. Can you imagine this guy being your bartender? Like... <laughs> Can you imagine your night out with this guy as your bartender? I mean, this is wild. Okay, let's see what he's got uh, in store for us here. You might uh, recognize these 
vision path from Far Cry 3 and 4. And also 5. Fire of Krati, okay, it's feared by all is Zilla, hold an oppressed to fire a meteor hour and unleash the fury of the sun. Mm. Okay. Leave no enemy unburned. Unless they're fire goddess or something. Oh wow. That's like an ultimate. This is almost like destiny, but you know, without all the fluff. See shit, but okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. It's like laser guidance for meteors. Look at this. Boom. It's like ancient Macron just going for the target. Ow! You dare to touch me, mortal! Actually, he does dare to touch me. Oh, look at this! This is wild! Trippy Far Cry in all its glory. Use the triple arrow shot to break the moon. Okay, I do not remember this, but um, I'll take it. Just 
just uh, destroy the moon with uh, arrows. Yeah, that's uh, reasonable. That is pretty reasonable. Wow, the art department did not go on holidays during the production of this game. Okay, I only need one more so I can finish the job. Thank you very much for joining. Okay, after such a flashy fight, I kind of feel bad about doing anything else. I think we need to go for the Zilla command post. Shansha, Sushalheim, Spacham. Sansa Uru sits. Sansa Salwas. Salwa ya Susulain Twayaris. Prasqua Pasta. Krati. Krati. Skrati. Mash. A soup near Pacham. Akis. Akis. Who? Okay. Okay, right. So, what do we have next? Oh, this nagging woman. Oh, God, okay. Let's see what she's got to say. Udam Alhu Winja Huguana Cha Chaus Tanhi Tushidaha Akista Tanhi Nakwaida Shanchir Aish Tanhi Tushi Shanchi. Aish Ulguanda. Sa, Dam Shuwana. Guanam, Charufadas, Sidamsha, Shlaka. Ma, Muwaida, Kwati, Sharus Fadas, Shanchi. Daru, Balia. Lai Wabi. 
u udam Dijamsu. U ti šavsi švada. Nasam. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for the leaves. No, sir. What we're gonna go and actually do is the Izilla Fort. Fire Screamers Fort. Because the fire is what we want. And we also want to loot some trees. Okay, now, first and foremost, what we need is... Oh, I can craft something. Hold up. Oh, no, those are the skills. And I have two skill points. Which I think I'm gonna keep for three. Bow sprint reload. Reload any bow with a fresh arrow while sprinting. I mean... I guess that's a thing. You're loading a bow. Okay, first and foremost, I need to get my amazing wolf. Where can I get my wolf back? Pack. Help. No. There's supposed to be a beast menu somewhere. I remember seeing it once, but... Maybe I need to be back in my... Village for that. I'm not sure. Ow. Leave me alone. I got the reload skill, skill and I'm trying to... Ow! You! You are not friendly, guys. Friendly is the opposite what you are. enemies. Oh wow, what the hell? Oh, holy damn! Okay, hold your horses. This is not going well. I need support. Okay, Sabertooth. Okay, I need those guys. I need them and I need them today. Bite out. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna ride the beast into the battle. Because that's what you do. You know. That's what the skills are for. Imagine you can just like ride the beast. Let's be honest, everyone would do that. I would do that. I would instantly do that. Okay, how do I... Oh, dismount this sea. There you go. Because we need to loot stuff now. We need to get some reload going on here. And then we shall storm the... The Sunwalker's camp. Because we can. Not because we have to. That's that's secondary. There you go, buddy. There you go. 
We take the sniping bow. And we are rather close to our destination, which is good. South stone, hold up. Oh wow, okay. It's a little bit big camp. Are you kidding me? Okay, I hope the eagle just, you know, made his point and is gonna leave me alone. Right, what do we have here? We have heavy units. Where are the guys that are raising the alarm? That's my question. can uh, do this and then we can do this should be fun with berserk bombs suspicious why why all of the friends are now being killed by whoever knows <laughs> someone who is onto us. God damn it, you can't climb there. Right. New plan. Longbow and it took like all these shots for him. Hmm. Uh, that's it. I think we're going in, boys. Screw it. You wanna play? Let's play. Something is not working. There you go. Have a big, big grenade. <laughs> I forgot. So when you uh, when you start uh, fighting Izzila, you need to upgrade the shards because if you will have your default shards, you're gonna have a bad time, basically. And that, unfortunately, is the fact. Oh, someone's all the way up there. We can help ourselves here, real quick. And by helping, I kinda meant uh, by killing the guys on a ledge, but hey ho. Oh, 
Hello there, guys. Expecting a big grenade? Or two? I'm gonna keep 140 guys over here. You need to heal the beast. I'll take damage for you, buddy. You do you. They'll be fine. You're just gonna quickly regroup. Oh, you did not just kill my beast. Oh, you did not do that. You do not want to piss me off by hurting my beast. Come here, buddy. We'll be fine. Oh, the leader of Shani. Hold your horses. Come back, you're not healed. There you go, buddy. We're gonna play the big boy games here. Hey Roshani, how you doing? Enjoying my spears yet? I got quite a few of them and the clubs as well. Ow, okay. Point taken. Point taken. I just need to quickly reload my health here, bud. Catch. guy for sure not friendly enough Tushi. beast first I can wait where's that overgrown guy who's hurting my beast like this one. There we go. I hope my beast is okay. All this and I do not know if my beast is okay. Not cool game. Not cool. Oh, 
Bottom! Ta cisla di varam. Pur kalash. Ai, mi nasham su shalhain. Umana! Nashan hamagam! First registered case of claustrophobia. Whatever times BC, whatever era this is. Anyway, let's have a chat with this guy real quick, see what he wants. Masi wantar sashman drampash hashaugas daichash sashman tashyata nupal hu wenjai hatra da hata su gaujata ma u tuarshi suman umana okay so I don't know how many linguists uh, are watching this channel, but can you guys, like, tell me, what do you think, which language branch is this conversation taking place from? I am very curious about this fact, honestly, because it does sound like, you know, it might be something you actually use today as well, and I'm just curious. Like, legitimately curious, because, you know, someone had to voice all this, unless they made up a uh, language for this whole game. That might be a pretty interesting thing to know. Okay, let's get everything we can. Okay, we need South Rock Dust. Which we have abundance of. I think we needed 30. And... South Stone, which we also had an abundance of. 30. And Rare White Deer Pack. Wolf. Black Lion. Anything else rare. Okay, I think we should be able to go and upgrade the Hunter's Hut. Because this is part of the progress. Like, if you don't do it... In timely manner, you're gonna miss out on skills, and that's not something I wanna do. So let's do that first. And we have two more skills, so we should have like three skills, I think. Yes, three skills. So now we can go to town. Bow handling or primitive heal or fire resistance or cunning beasts. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I would kind of go for extra health, really, but I think taming a bear would be a bit more worthwhile than I would think. And a double bow. Now, this is negotiable, to be fair. I would rather go with the fire bomb. Because double bow, it takes all your wood instantly and... You're just left with nothing, really. Okay. Okay. Can penetrate most enemy masks. We need uh, rare south stone. So this is what I'm talking about, the zeal and the mask. So the shards will actually kill them. But you need that one thing. And I hope I have it. If not, I think I have a way of obtaining it. Rare South Stone. Okay, right. 
Now here's the life hack. You go to sleep. Surprisingly, in this game, going to sleep actually solves your problems. Apart from real life, where it doesn't. But you kind of catch my drift, I guess. So the pack is full. You can actually do this before you go out, honestly. Uh, I wouldn't call this cheating, it's just, you know, it, it is what it is. It's not gonna give you a lot, but... Like for this, uh, that's the yellow leaves for north, which you technically need to have to get uh, the Udam, whatever stuff, but I'm wondering for this, so pack only two. I think I never see... So, the moment you discover an item, like whichever of all of this, once you collect it once, your villagers will know what to collect, right? Uh, it's a bit different for the animal skill. You need to kind of hunt those animals first. And then you can have them, and then depending on the rarity of the skin, it will be given to you. So these are all the animals I haven't actually hunted, because, like, you know, I'm... I'm <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a pacifist, but, you know, there, there are certain things I go for, like, that I don't really want to do. Badger skin and slate. Okay, you know what? I think we can actually do that. I have badger skins. Badger, badger, badger. Rare stripe doll. I don't even know if I actually hunted the badger in my life. Tapir. Badger skin. Yes, I do have four. And then I need slates. And slates there should be abundance of. There we go. We need a 25 for that. And couple reeds. Oh, come on. You're killing me. You're killing me, game. Where are the reeds? Wait, what? We don't have reeds. No, wait. We have reeds. There we go. I can finally upgrade my own crib. How cool is that? Eight parts into the game, I can upgrade my own house. It's like real life. 17 years in your life and you can actually upgrade your house finally it's something Should Give us a skill point I guess yeah two skill points right anyway And what do we have from the skills with two skill points we can have Double clubs absolutely useless Absolutely useless. Hunter vision, craft arrows. Now this is what we need to do. Crafting the arrows so it uses less wood. Uh, I guess you have to go with this. Right. And what else we actually have here? So... You can go for the Erky the Thinker real quick. I think we have uh, plenty of time for that. Three hundred tippy taps. Let's uh, reload everything. Animal hide, hardwood. I do not have hardwood. Oh, that came out wrong. That came out way too wrong. How come this game has better mantle system than Warzone? Riddle me that. Also, now that I know that I can tame bears, that kind of gives me a little bit of hope. Okay, get it. Come on, boy.
Okay, do we need to get up here? It looks like we need to get up here. So, for those who are first on a channel and you never play this game, this game picks up so slow, it is impossible to just get through. I would say the first two hours is gonna be like, what the hell is going on, right? But once you get through that, you can actually enjoy the game, honestly. Also, I'm recording in a little bit higher quality now. So I hope you guys can see every single fail I make, because, you know, the details is already there. So, let's go and see how the Urki will fly. Winja! Kusawi Warha? Urki ye swata kwati patashta! Ooh, Urki ye swata kwati patashta! Winja. Ooh, 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 patash, fu pausi con! Ooh, a patash! Urki shawi wa patash walla deuce deuce! Urki san patra. San patra? San Pu Pau San Patra! Ta! Ta Pu Budaquala! Ta Pu Budaquala! Urki Sakwi! Urki Sakwi Ha Patra Daha! Ta Urki Patash! Ta Urki Patash! Ooh, 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 ooh! Urki Sakwi Ha Patra Daha! To Urki Patash! To Urki Patash! Okay, I think I kind of took a little bit too long for my own liking here. Right, never mind. We're back in action. Let's get whatever we can get here. Look at her. Holding the arrows again. How cute. Who are you to attack my beast? Peasant. Look. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Anyway. So for the animals. We're going to be using the sniper bow. I need raven, beefish, no, tortoise? A snowbird. They're literally lining up and dying to meet me. Oh, I'm so I'm so funny. Somebody stop me. Okay, never mind. We need a tortoise. Okay, tort. I know how tortoises look. I mean, that's that's the easy part. Raven snowbird. Okay, I think we might have a better luck on that little island over there. Ow. I have obtained a turtoise, I think. Okay, how do you how do you hunt a turtoise? Ooh. 
I don't ever want to do that ever again. Am I a bad hunter because of the... I mean, literally, guys, like, what the hell? You know what you mean? Who just goes up to a tortoise and just... Brutal. Okay, now we can start sniping, I guess. Birds. So now you can imagine how important it is to have good graphical fidelity for this game where you need to literally hunt goddamn birds. Which I'm not sure how I'm gonna hunt the birds. Okay, hold up buddy, I'm coming. Come here, come here. There you go. Oh, look at this furball, all eating a bloody piece of meat and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. Okay, snowbird. I would assume whatever I need to hunt will show up in yellow, right? I think that is a very fair assessment. Considering the location we're in. Now the problem is, I do not see any type of birds flying around that I can just hunt all willy nilly, so that's a bit of a problem. Also, it's a raven? Like, ravens are. Unless the raven is sitting on that tree, I do not see a place for a raven to be here. Ravens are so secluded, like that is not really... A bird or the animal you would just naturally see. Walking around you would be like, oh, a raven. They are very, very smart animals and clearly if someone will... If someone would have tried to hunt him once... The raven would know. He would know that, you know, whoever shows up with a bow and arrow, it's after him. I mean, that's an assumption, obviously, but, you know, ravens are... They, they're really smart. Okay, I see. So there is a bird. And it's flying over here. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, the bird was flying over here somewhere. Some little pesky creatures as well. Come on, bird. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on, this is... It's almost like the game wants you to be good with a bow and arrow. I'm not good with bow and arrow. Damn, I, I couldn't even hit the bird if it was standing still. You should have seen what... How terrible it was for me to hit the ravens in God of War, like... Let alone in this game, like, come on. I know it's a challenge and all, but uh, we need, like, a lot of them. I don't know, maybe we just need to hunt one at a time. That's the golden formula here? I do not know. Hey, you leave my my pet alone. What the hell? Okay, I don't know. Are we too high up or something? Oh no, those birds are over there. Come on. 
I need to heal my pet first. Come here, pet. There we go. Okay. It is bird hunting time. This is gonna take a while, right? That sounded like a raven, yeah. Ravens. Okay, now we need a snowbird. I don't even know what the hell a snowbird is. You guys know what a snowbird is? Is that like a thing or that's like just made up? I'm, I'm tired of you. Pestering my pet. Be gone. Okay, so the, the snowbird looks like something that cannot fly. So we're looking for something that is unable to eat. You! These guys are not nice at all. Trying to hunt here. I'm, I'm literally bird watching at this point. They be sitting on a ledge. So there is a ledge we can go to, and I do not see anything else. Just chilling here. I would expect them to be kind of like puffins. Do not uh, mix up with muffins, but uh, puffins. Which technically are just sitting and waiting for fish. So that would make sense. I do not know what a snowbird is, unfortunately. I literally have zero idea what it is. Okay, I think we're going high up. We're going high up, guys. I don't even remember this mission in the original playthrough all those years back. So if I do not remember this mission, it must have been a little bit painful, because I tend to forget painful missions. It probably was uh, one of those uh, one and done type of things, really. But we are also outside of the zone. Oh. Ow. We are missing only one snowbird, come on. Come on, Gabe, give me a break. I wouldn't be surprised if those snowbirds are actually somewhere up here. Just chilling on a rock or whatever. Or whatever snowbirds actually do. I can hear birds. Okay, I think I need to scope out my environment. So here's the tortoises. Great, nothing here. Nothing sitting there. Those are the fishes. And 
definitely nothing on the other side. So it must be somewhere around here. I think we're in the right place. Hmm. I don't know, maybe the game's got a timer on it. But, you know, a certain amount of time needs to pass. Then it's gonna spawn them in. Unless that bird is in the water, I do not know where to find it. There it is. Do you see that? You guys see that? I was right. It was right there. There we go. There we go. We can finally get back to Orki and get this stuff going on. is live wild okay I think that Orki is gonna do the leap of faith that's what I think Let, let's see what he does So if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, it should be said that uh, Urki is Hark from Far Cry 4 and 5. That's who he is. That's that's what all this is about. That's why he's a little bit goofy, a little bit kind of like in his own world. He's not a bad guy though, like not a bad character, but just a uh, comic relief really. Well, I think we actually did quite a few things here and uh, I'm gonna pet you, I don't wanna ride you. You're a beautiful creature, but hey ho. Yeah, pet this beautiful furball. Now I'm gonna help you, Urki. Don't you worry, bud. You will be missed. True warrior's death. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this one. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I see you all next time. Please 
do not forget to have a wonderful time, wonderful day, wonderful week, weekend, month, year, life in general. Over now.